Before starting this tutorial, I just want to remind you guys of something. Recently, I made a video reviewing a PowerPoint add-in called Power User. In that same video, I mentioned that each license is worth $220. And guess what? I was given 50 to give out for free. I will select 10 lucky winners each week for five weeks. So far, 20 people have won the license, which means 30 are left. If you want to win one, all you have to do is sign up to the SlideCal mailing list using the link below. And hey, I'll even throw in this tip of the iceberg slide template for free. If you want to learn more about the Power User add-in, just click on the info button on the top right. Thanks guys! Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we're going to make a really cool looking paper tear effect. Why a paper tear effect? Well, some people have been requesting how to make one for quotes or selected text from a document. It really helps to bring out the main point or points on your slide. Anyway, let's get right into this one. Step one. Draw the paper and the paper tear effect. Okay, so we're going to assume that you guys have a blank slide. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to insert, we're gonna to go to shapes, and then we're gonna click on this rectangle right over here. We're gonna draw something out that looks like a sheet of paper. Now, I don't want you guys to worry about positioning right now. Uh, and I also don't want you guys to worry about the sizing right now. So we can fix all that up later. With your shape selected, go to format, go to shape outline, go to no outline, and then we're done with that for now. The second thing we want to do is we want to actually draw out the paper tear effect that you see over here. Now look, there are two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the easy and lazy way. I don't recommend this way. And then I'll show you the way that I personally like. So the easy and lazy way is you go to insert, you go to shapes, and then you click on the free form scribble option right over here. And then you just draw out your scribble just like this, however you'd like, until you get something that you want, and there you go. But what's the problem with this? Well, it's too, how do I say, messy, right? It's, it's not, it, it doesn't have that designer persona in it. It doesn't, it doesn't show that you took a lot of time to actually plan out your slide. In fact, if I saw this, I thought, you know, you, you tried to rush through it, which isn't something that you want to have um, on your slide. So instead, do what I do. I go to insert, and then I click on shapes and I click on this isosceles triangle right over here. Now I make something tall but thin and really small, just like this. I make sure it does not have an outline and then I press on Control D. I move it up right next to the old shape and I keep pressing Control D just like this until I have an entire line full of these things. And then it just gets really, really fun. So, for example, I want to make this one shift to the left a bit. I want to make this one short. I want to make this one tall. I want to make this one tall, but shift to the left. I want to make this one short, but shift to the right. You just keep doing that for all your triangles. I'm gonna speed up the video just to save some time on the tutorial. Okay, so when you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to go to insert shapes, and click on the rectangle option right over here. You wanna draw out the rectangle right underneath the triangles just like this and make sure it doesn't have an outline. And then you wanna highlight all the triangles and the uh, rectangle, go to format, merge shapes and union until it's all just one shape that does not have an outline. Change the color to something else. So I'm gonna change this for example to orange, and that's only to differentiate both the paper and the tear effect. And that, my friends, is step one completed. Step two, subtract so both elements. All right, so what you wanna do now is you wanna move the paper tear shape to the bottom left of the designated paper shape that you have over here. Now, quick word before proceeding with the subtracting uh, feature. You should know that this paper tear effect shape is actually scalable. What does that mean? Well, if you want big tears, all you have to do is just move it upwards. And if you want uh, smaller tears, all you have to do is just size it downwards, just like this to make it smaller. You can also take up the entirety of the bottom of the page, just like this. Or if you're like me and prefer, you know, more tears, just like this at the bottom of the page, you know, more triangles. All you have to do is really just, you know, decrease the shape and its width, just like that. Press on Control Shift and drag it to the left so you make an identical copy. Now make sure that the other shape that you made takes up the entirety of the page. Press on Control and select both of the shapes now, just like this. 
and uh, go to Format, Merge Shapes, Union. And I'm actually gonna decrease the height like that. And now we can actually subtract the, uh, the two shapes. Click on the paper first, hold control, and then click on the paper tear effect second. Go to merge shapes and then subtract. And there you go. There is your paper tear effect and that is also our second step completed. Step three, add the effects. All right, so what we're going to do now is actually pretty cool. First things first, we're gonna color in the page image that we have with the paper tear effect at the bottom into obviously white or whatever color you choose. Um, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the shape outline into a light grayish color, just like this, so we know where the shape is, right? So uh, we're going to move that over here, and I'm just gonna make an identical copy of this shape on the left side over here. With this identical copy, I'm gonna go to Format, I'm gonna go to Shape Fill, and then I'm gonna click on the dark gray color over here. I'm also gonna remove the outline. And then still with this shape selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on shape effects. Um, we're gonna go to soft edges, soft edges options, and then over here you wanna change the size to 25 points, right? With that done, right click on it and click on send to back. And then move that shape just behind the paper tear effect you have over here. Make sure it's a bit wider than the original image, just like this. And then it's just a matter of positioning. Move it to the bottom over here until you have a clear... Yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Clear outline, just like that. Perfect. Okay, what you can also do if you want is you can move an original copy of the image at the top over here so you can see a shadow at the top of the page over here. So what I mean is you're just going to press on Control, Shift, drag it upwards, just like that, and then right-click, send to back, and then move that over here. So you have a cloudy sort of image, you know, uh, coming out of the paper tear effect, just like that. Now, obviously you can change the color. If you think it's too dark, you can change the color. So I'm gonna change it to a lighter gray over here, just to show you what I mean. It's up to you, really. It all comes down to you. To go for that extra bit of design, what you also might want to do is you want to click on the paper, click on format, click on shape effects, shadow, and then over here, you're gonna see something called offset, offset bottom, just click on that. From there on, you can actually remove the outline if you want. And there you go. There is your paper tear effect. Step four, add the text and the highlights. Step four, add the text and the highlights. All right, so what you wanna do now is you wanna highlight everything and uh, press on Control G to group it up and move it in the middle just like this. Now, just a quick thing before we proceed any further, um, the image itself is actually very scalable. So if you wanna make it wider, that's fine. If you wanna make it smaller, that's also fine. So I'm just gonna go for this shape over here and yeah, I think that looks fine. Um, I'm also going to bring in some text into the middle of this paper. So a, a note about this, right? Uh, this text could be anything you'd like. What I recommend is, you know, you can either make it a quote or you can make it a piece from a specific white paper or maybe an abstract from a specific book, whatever, it doesn't matter. So um, from just to save time on our end though, we're just gonna be using this placeholder text that we uh, made earlier. So I'm just gonna bring that in. I'm also going to scale it just appropriately. So I'm gonna have to reduce the font size for this now into something like a, uh, a 16. I'm gonna make this thinner and I'm gonna bring this down in the middle over here. Position it just right. All right, now this needs to be just brought up a bit higher, just like that, and okay, perfect. Now I want to highlight and make sure that my audience is aware of specific, you know, parts of this text that I have right here. How do I do that? How do I highlight it to make sure that the all cows are great pops out in front of my audience every single time. That's actually very easy to do. What you want to do is you want to go to insert, you want to go to shapes, and then you want to click on this rectangle over here or any other shape that you'd like that will cover the text in its entirety. So I'm going to click on the rectangle just for now, highlight it just above the text that you want to highlight it on, and then you want to click on format, shape fill, 
Uh, change it to any color you'd like. So I want to maintain it as a red color over here. Make sure it doesn't have an outline. But over here, what you want to do is you want to go to more fill colors, just under shape fill, more fill colors, and change the transparency to 75%. And there you go. That way, you know, your audience are going to immediately look at that one line. And uh, you can bring this anyway around the slide that you like. So I'm gonna press on Control, Shift, drag this downwards and highlight the other piece just over here. Let's say I want to highlight another piece just underneath oh, on, underneath over here, which is the quick brown fox, that's fine as well. So I can just press on Control, Shift, bring that down over here, and this is expanded. Just like that, it's perfect. Then it's just a matter of repositioning. So I can just bring that up over here, and we're done, that's it. All right, guys, we have done it. We've always done it. Um, remember that this slide was actually requested, right? It was requested from someone on Reddit, actually. Um, I have to get the name. But uh, yeah, it was requested from him and I was happy to help out uh, him as well as many other people who are looking for the same thing. Just reach out to me. I'm a very approachable guy. You can do it through Facebook, through slackcow.com, through YouTube, whatever. I'll be happy to reach out to you if I can. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Be safe. Happy travels. And uh, yeah, have a great week, guys.